this is a MacBook Pro 2011 that I picked up for about $250 off of Facebook Marketplace. Little did I know that it had the plagued GPU in it, and this is how I fixed it. I started by removing the 10 Phillips head screws on the bottom case and figured out one was missing. So I knew somebody had been inside this before. My next tell of somebody being inside this computer before was the blue painter's tape on a connector and on the disk drive. With the back case removed, I can start removing all the connectors from the motherboard. Uh, this connector in particular, you should be very careful with. It is the flex cable that connects the display. With all the cables removed, I can start to remove the T6 screws from the motherboard. I don't know the exact count, I guess I could look it up on an iFixit guide, but the uh, screws in here, obviously somebody was in here before me because there were a few missing across the motherboard. With all the screws removed, we can remove the motherboard from the housing. There's one cable on the bottom left of the motherboard that you need to remove before you can actually take the motherboard out of the computer. With the motherboard out of the computer, we can start to remove the heat sink that covers the CPU and GPU. With the heat sink removed, we can take a good look at the CPU and GPU. What I'm doing here is just using my hot air soldering iron on low heat at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit to just loosen up the glue that holds the GPU in place. Be careful while removing this glue as you don't want to damage other components on the motherboard. This also prevents us from warping the motherboard in the next step. With the glue removed, we can turn up the heat on my soldering station up to around 500 degrees just to get the solder that is underneath the GPU melted enough to where it's making contact again. I don't know what the problem is with these GPUs but I know that heating them up works because I know that people have put them in the oven and it's worked. I just wanted to take a little bit different approach to it because putting the whole motherboard in the oven doesn't make me comfortable. With the solder remelted, 
as best as I can get it as a hobbyist. I remove the old crusty thermal paste from the CPU and GPU with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and I also will be removing it from the heatsink as well as you will see in a second. With the heat sink and CPU and GPU cleaned off, I apply a healthy dose of uh, Arctic MX4 thermal paste back to the CPU and GPU. With the heat sink back on, we can tighten the screws and it will help spread out the thermal paste evenly across the heat sink and CPU and GPU. With the motherboard back in the machine, we can start to screw down all of the T6 screws that were in the motherboard before, uh, as well as reinstall the fans and connect all the connectors.
with all the connectors and RAM reinstalled, we can now reinstall the bottom cover. I'm only putting a couple screws in just to be able to test the machine before we put it all the way back together. Thankfully, with the computer all back together, it boots up with no GPU issues. There are zero vertical lines, no purple Apple logo, and it boots up to my version of High Sierra, just how I had left it before. And that is it. That is the hobbyist repair to this GPU issue. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching.